5,000 or more of you are expected to turn out Monday for President Barack Obama's Labor Day visit to Milwaukee. And 12 News political reporter Kent Wayne Scott tells us labor leaders believe the visit will provide a boost to local unions and even have an impact on the race for governor. President Obama's return to Labor Fest Monday also marks the return of the event itself after a one year absence. And given recent history, the head of the Milwaukee Labor Council says the president's appearance is significant. It's very good for organized labor. I mean, it's no secret the struggle that we have faced here in the state of Wisconsin. The sun is going to come out. But it's also important politically. Even though it's not a campaign related event, union efforts are considered key to Democrat Mary Burke's campaign to unseat Governor Scott Walker. And the president can help energize that base. Well, of course, when you get a visit from the president, that <laughs> boosts your enthusiasm. I know it boosts, it boosts mine. But it is technically an official White House visit. So while Mary Burke won't appear publicly with the president, Governor Walker will greet him at the airport. I'm just going to thank him for being, being here as I have in the past. And we, we always appreciate the president, no matter which party it is, uh, if uh, he or she, whoever it might be now and in the future, if they come to the state, we're, we're happy to have them there. Milwaukee County Executive Chris Abley will also meet with the president and says he hopes to get the chance to talk business. I've always got a list of asks, uh, you know, for uh, the folks who put me in office, and uh, I will be asking. But the focus of the event will be on the president's message to the union members and the impact it may have on them and perhaps the race for governor. It's a ticketed event. The Labor Council will distribute tickets to union members and their families. And we told the president we'll meet with Mary Burke privately, but it's unclear whether he'll make any reference during his speech to the governor's race or to Act 10, the Governor Walker's limits to collective bargaining. But it's a safe bet that both of those will be on the minds of the thousands of labor union members in the audience. Thank you, Kent. You can watch the president's speech right here on WISN 12 or on our website, WISN.com. Okay.